Okay, next project. So um, I'm standing in front of my pole barn on my back property, you can see there. Uh, not enclosed. But um, we do have some plans for behind the pole barn, which you can see behind me there. Lots of tumbleweeds. Um, so my wife would like chickens, uh, quail, and uh, well, I'd like quail too, and uh, guinea hens. So we need a coop. We need a we need a pen. Uh, so. I would also like ducks. So uh, this is start of next project is clearing out this area to build a chicken coop. So as you can see here, due to all the rain that we had this year, this is a untamed area. So now the job is getting this cleared out so we can actually build a coop. Good stuff. Uh, for those of you not familiar with Arizona, these are tumbleweeds. I know everybody's used to tumbleweeds being brown. They turn brown and then they come loose from the ground and they are a pain in the butt to get rid of. They are covered in all these itty bitty thorns you can see here, which makes them real fun to remove. And then over here is what's called desert broom, which is actually an invasive species. So yeah, I'm gonna kill that. Um, and then over here we have amaranth growing, which this is actually edible, um, but I'm not gonna be eating it because uh, I don't know what's on it. Uh, but it's funny because it's growing in a nice row, actually. Weird. All right, so on to cleanup. Oh, and just so you know, while I'm doing this, it's over 100 degrees out. It's about 110, 111 out here, and the humidity is ridiculous. It's got to be in the 50 plus percent range right now. Um, whew. We had rain last night. Uh, I'll be posting a video about more stuff inside the house, of course. But yeah. It's uh, pretty muggy out here. It feels more like Florida than it does Arizona right now. So back to it. Okay, so as you can see, I've been removing tumbleweeds from our chicken coop, chicken enclosure area. Uh, just to show you, I've got this pile I've already removed that uh, is about 15 feet across and about my waist high and I'm six foot seven. Uh, they're not fun to remove if you're trying to do it the hard way, which I'll get to in a minute because they're covered, like I mentioned before, in all those stickers and thorns. So, my pile over here uh, that I've got left to remove is actually not as much work as it looks because tumbleweeds, by design, have very shallow root systems so that then when they dry up, they can simply tumble away. Now, my tool that I'm using here is this little four pond rake. Uh, the reason I got this is because what I do is I take this and I hook it around right down here is the base of a root. And I hook that around there and I just simply pull and it pops out of the ground as you can see. Um, so now I can pull on this section, which there's a bunch growing together here and pull it out. So again, for those of you who haven't removed tumbleweeds before, this big root right here, I simply hook around it and it pops right out of the ground. Boom, like so. Sorry for about the uh, bad camera photography there. Um, so yeah, get the rest of these moved out and then it's raking out this area, clearing it out and uh, start our chicken coop. So this area is probably about maybe 12, 15 feet across. And there's these fence sections are about 10 feet. So there's about 28, maybe 30 feet there in depth. Should be a great area for a chicken coop. All right, back to it.